You've passed them on the streets almost every day, especially near the interstates. Well, you may have even stopped to give them some money. We're talking about panhandlers, but do you ever wonder how some of them are using that money? News 10's Rondrell Moore investigates and joins us now in the studio with what he found. Rondrell? Well, Mark Patrice, they hold signs like these asking for your money. I went looking for what happens to the cash you give out. And what I found may surprise you. As heavy snow falls, and even in the rain, our cameras caught a few people braving the cold, collecting money. This man holds a sign claiming he's homeless. Several folks hand over money, hoping it'll help him make it through the day. But where does he go from here? Well, after some research, we found this same man again. But it wasn't at a hotel or a restaurant. He was here at Ebash in Terre Haute, playing video games. Watch what happens when we confront him. You look kind of familiar. I think I might have seen you before. Um, do you collect money on the intersection of uh, yeah. 70 and 46? After going outside, I asked him why he does it. I, it's fine. I don't know what anyone's saying bad about this. It's 8 o'clock at night, 9 o'clock at night. You know, it's just something for me. You know, there's nothing free for me to do after certain times to stay warm, and this is what I do. He says he feels more comfortable here than at places like the Lighthouse Mission. It's a routine that's causing a dilemma for this business's owner. That's because this man and others like him aren't actually doing anything illegal by spending their money here. But the owner questions their morals. If their sign said, hey, I'm going to eBash, give me a dollar, it would be a lot easier because then they're not tricking anybody. But it's kind of like they're deceiving people a little bit. But does he see it as deception? And at the end of the day, I just got to ask you, do you feel like you're being honest or upfront yes. with the people that you're collecting money from? Yes, I am homeless. I've lost my job. I'm asking for help. Well, we do want to point out that this was just one panhandler we spoke with. The man refused to give us his name. We have more of our interview with the man on our website. There you can also take part in our web poll. Mark Patrice, back to you. Thanks, Rondrell. Part of me is not shocked about this. Mm -hmm. Now, despite this story, experts say it should not discourage you from, from helping people. Certainly not. The Lighthouse Mission in Terre Haute says you should only donate to charitable organizations with dependable backgrounds, and that way you can be sure your money's going to the right place.